Yeah, you said one of the handicapping services, despite everything you guys did last year, and despite all your depth and returning talent, they're saying Kentucky's over and under for wins is like four and a half. You're either going to win four or five games. I know y'all don't worry about that, but do you guys ever talk about that kind of thing? And what is your reaction to that sort of prediction? I mean, we just take it one game at a time right now. We just right now focus on ourselves and camping. And when it comes close to the game, I mean, the season starting, we're going to focus on Auburn, but we really don't worry about the media like that, how they predict we're going to win, how many games they think we're going to win or lose. We don't worry about that. We know what we're capable of, and we're just ready to prove them wrong. John Clay. Yusuf, how different is it uh, this year compared to a regular fall camp? And is it a good thing or a bad thing that the season, for, for guys that the season was delayed till the 26th? I feel the big difference is that uh, we have we have more emphasis on film and every reps you get, you need to really take advantage of. I mean, normally, normal camp, we have practice every day. Now we have some breaks in between. Maybe we may practice two days straight and things like that. But just really taking advantage of the reps is probably the real difference and paying attention, locking them during, during film. Josh? Use the view. You, last year, everybody kind of pinning the whole – doom of the defense on you guys and now this year it seems like it's three deep everywhere and everybody's really excited about seeing what you can do how do you you know compare this year to last year just as far as the expectation level from your unit well compared to this year I feel like everybody has a lot more experience I mean especially speaking on the secondary it was all kind of new I think it's everybody's first year starting besides probably uh JG but we have a lot more experience now we're really locked in and ready to go and just be better this year. I mean, after the scrims today, in my opinion, I feel like defense won. So I'm really excited for a week one versus Auburn. Josh, you can go ahead with your follow-up. Did you put your hand up again? Yeah, just a, yeah, just quick. Uh, a name, we keep hearing Vito's name come up a lot. Uh, and I know there's a lot of new guys and, and, and a lot of depth there, but what has he done early to kind of make himself stand out in the, in the secondary? Basically make plays, make plays all over the field, interceptions, pass breakups. Uh, we had scrimmage that day, hit somebody pretty hard, knocked them down. Even him and Joe, I mean, they go full speed, 100% effort all the time. And they just uh, have that certain wow factor. You know, when you watch a film or you just watch them on the field, you'd be like, who's that guy running? You know, especially him, Joe, and Ricky, all really three of our new guys, they got that wow factor. Chandler. There we go. Sorry. Um, hey, Yusuf, I was going to ask you, so you're known as the hard hitter uh, in the secondary. I, like, how do you balance technique-wise hitting a guy really hard but making sure you don't lead with the head or some of the things that could get you thrown out? Well, one thing is keep your head up. No more target penalties. I'm, I know every time we go out to the scrimmage or practice, if someone uh, jokes me, you'd be like, all right, no targeting today. And I just, you know what I'm saying, uh, in the open field, just basically just try to get the man down, especially as a safety position. I mean, you're the last line of defense, so just make sure you make that tackle. But when it's a one-on-one, -on -one, A gap, you know what I'm saying, hit, then I just play everything I got into it. Dick. You said, I would imagine some people might be surprised to see that you led the team in tackles last year, even though you had that huge game against Georgia and a big game against Virginia Tech. How do you feel about the way you came on strong last year toward the middle part of the season, and how do you, what are you looking for this year in terms of improvement personally? Uh, just consistency in my play, making more plays on the ball. And I really wasn't surprised that I led the team in tackles. I always knew what I believe what I could do, and just having good mentors uh, in front of me like D. Rob, J. G. Uh, D. West, and Mike Edwards, just piggybacking off of what they were doing, and I didn't want to let them down. So. All right, everybody, that was all the questions. Oh, I got one more, looks like. Beat the buzzer, Curtis. Hey, Yusuf, uh, any fatherly advice you're giving Brandon Nichols? Uh, just a little bit. When she sleep, you sleep. That's the only father advice I can give him. <laughs> you trying to follow up, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's good. All right. Appreciate it, everybody.